Alright, here we go. Yes, Lissandre, you in the triangle head. Nobody cares, Lissandra. You are an idiot. Nobody really cares. I'm gonna kill myself if I keep singing like this. Like, my voice is just gonna fall out of my neck. That sounds really painful. Yes, I know where it's made. Yeah, singing in addition to me being bad at it. Uh, I'm really not built to be singing high notes, or at least notes higher than uh, I was, and if I do that for long periods of time, my throat does start to feel weird. Maybe if I would like sing with a deep voice like this, but that sounds even worse, I should just give up. Uh, yes, yes, I don't read what you said. You're not a very interesting character, Lissandre. Okay, you you have a part in the story, but that doesn't make you an interesting character. You gave me a King's Rock. You just sound like a crazy person, and you're not talking any sense. You sound like one of those guys that sounds that talks like fake science to make himself sound smarter than they really are. Is it those Hollywood people that like, you all know what I'm talking about. The uh, uh, there is a famous building GUI in Visual Basic to track people's IP address scene from some TV show somewhere, and that's kind of the default for technical illiteracy. I mean, you could, but you probably wouldn't, just saying. There are much better ways uh, to be finding people's IP addresses, and even if you did that, it probably wouldn't help you find a uh, murderer that's on the run. Anyway, you told me to go somewhere, and I don't remember where it was, and apparently I just walked back into the cafe. <clears throat> uh, if I could not... Let's see, where am I supposed to be going anyway? I really need to check, because I didn't read the dialogue. This is why you should read dialogue in games, because if you don't, you're not going to know where you're going. Let's see, let's use this. Um, this is, is a list of all the things. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Trevor was the one that just called me. I should know this. Yes. I can, uh, I can look around. No, it's Blue Cafe. Because I like blue better. Actually, no, I don't. Plants actually use a uh, red light the most in photosynthesis. And that's kind of my excuse for liking red um, out of all colors. Although my Mia, my 3DS is currently yellow, but that's because of uh, Street Pass games. And I didn't read what you said again. Route 14, okay, I knew that. So, I am going to be going back to the Pokemon Center uh, momentarily. And I will see you on the gate to Route 14. Alright, hello all you people out there. This is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and welcome back to Pokemon X. I'm finally getting in the habit of calling it Pokemon X and not Pokemon White 2. It's been way too long in that series, honestly. 93 videos. Uh, counting the two-parter that I had somewhere in the middle there. I won, of course. Really. 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 How about we don't? How about I just go down with this game, because I don't want to spend all that much time in this game either. While I'm here, I might as well... Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess that this playthrough is going to last 50, maybe 60 parts. Uh, probably about as much as Heart Gold. Um, I'm not spending as much, uh, time just, like, on roots and stuff as I did, uh, previously, because the, the thing I do where I just cut out on important battles and stuff, but, uh, 50 to 60 parts sounds about right for this. I have no idea where I am now, because I just record long stretches. Um, I record, say, two hours, uh, continuously, and I just cut it, uh, in half in between things. Uh, you are a Meowsic, and I am going to be switching into someone who is not a Bagon, because uh, Bagon really is still kind of underleveled, even though I've been doing this for a little while. Let's go into this Hone Edge thing here. Hone Edge is another thing that really should be evolving soon. I want to say you evolve into Dublade at level 35, but I don't remember yet. Fake Out doesn't affect Tumble. Do Fake Out again. Do one of those things that Fake Out is your best move, because I like those. Those are easy. I don't know what I don't know what your thing is. I, uh, I haven't looked anything up. That didn't do any damage. But, uh, I will have your team and stuff, uh, Serena, in the sidebar of the video, or down in the corner. The bottom... What, do, what direction even is that? It's like the bottom right. I don't even remember. It's been a while since I looked at the layout for this thing, honestly. Uh, that might tell you how far ahead I record. That did about half. Eh, more than half. Two-thirds. Uh, the Sauron voice isn't doing anything to this, uh, this sword here. Oh, critical hit still didn't do anything to the sword here. Didn't I equip lovers? Oh no, I equip lover leftovers to uh, Raichu. I knew that. 
Meowstick went down. Still no, uh, still no level up for this thing here. Who do I want to switch into phase Bagon though? Uh, I mean B Bagon. Absol. I think I'm gonna be bringing Gyarados there to lower the attack because I know Bagon's a, not Bagon. Absol's a physical monster. You, how many HP? No, not. I keep misspeaking. I misspeak everything today, uh, either grammatically or terminology or just plain wrong words. But, but how many? Experience points does this one need until the next level of 60, which is uh, nothing these days. Yeah, we're bringing in... No, not you. We're bringing in you. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Intimidate is going to lower your attack. And Absol used Bite. That's not going to do anything. That still did damage. I guess because you're level like 30-something. Uh... Surface strength would do more damage. I honestly don't know. Ooh, Swords Dance. This could hurt. Especially if you go and, like, flinch me. Um, let's see. I might have to rely on, like, priority moves and stuff. That didn't do anything. Let's try, uh, let's try Strength. At this range, even, uh, Dragon Rage might be still be doing more damage. I'm gonna guess you have about 100 HP. Let's see what Strength you're gonna do. Alright, Strength did more damage. Um... I know I'm not going to be able to do anything to you on this turn because you're faster than me, so I'm going to try and restore something. So let's use a super potion on Hubble. And that will get your uh, HP back to full health. Yeah, quick attack. Wonderful. Even better. So that's going to happen. E is going to go down. And next, who do I want to bring in next? Your attack is at plus one. I think... I can survive... Um, a bite, because I'm only fire type at this point, and hit you with a flame charge and kill you. A quick attack, okay, so plus one quick attack, I'm not too worried about that. That did, okay, critical hit. That would have done half my HP. Flame charge. Wonderful, Absol is dead. I'm not saying it's wonderful that something died, but that's, uh, it makes this battle a lot easier. Absol is uh, consistently Serena's most typical Pokemon, and Bagon has Grinch level 26, wonderful. And Greninja is coming in now. Greninja. Um, let's see, I'm going to not switch in Bagon here, and I'm going to bring in Avogadro straight off. Because Greninja is fully evolved, and even though Avogadro is also Greninja's more powerful fully evolved, as well as higher level than me, and I'd like to uh, not have to mess around with this. Let's see. Thunderbolt will be doing more damage, because same type attack bonus. Quick attack. Okay. Paralyze yourself in static. Paralyze yourself in... Yes! I got the static. That's uh, that's another thing helping me out a lot. So Thunderbolt is going to be taking you down. Okay, half health. That's pretty good. Um, Avogadro is getting some HP recovered by leftovers. And Thunderbolt, quick attack. Oh, again, of course you have that. Um, I guess it's either that or not doing much damage to me, <clears throat> or uh, being slower and uh, dying instantly to Thunderbolt, but. Avogadro has gotten the level up, so my entire team say Bagon is level 30, which is really nice. Any interesting moves you learn here? No. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Serena. I enjoy battling with you, but I'm getting tired of losing every time. Well, considering how underleveled I am, uh, maybe there's a reason for that. Anyway, what is this? Pi is evolving. I am so tone deaf, I am so tone deaf, I'm, I'm hitting myself with a water bottle now. Actually I'm not, because I don't want to accidentally spray uh, water all over my DS. That would be bad. Why is there a fly crawling across my monitor? I don't know, I have a lot of plants in my room, I don't know if they come from those things. But, Mystical Fire, what does this move do? I can't remember. I like Flame Charge because it raises speed, but uh, lowers your special tech. How about no? I like my moves the way they are. Yes, no, I said give up the Mystical Fire. It's one thing that always bothered me about Pokemon, the order of the buttons on, do you want to learn the move, yes or no? Uh, you there, what's your face? That was a really intense battle, Shauna, that's right. Tierney. Tierney. How about no? Tierna. They need to make a Pokemon game based in Italy. I like Italy. It would go really well with names like Selina and Tierno and stuff. Even though I can only ruin my arrows like halfway. Uh, and say like two words in Italian, but... 
It's Mentecare Atuto, I know that much. <clears throat> and for those of you who don't know what that means, well, you can go look it up on Google Translate, and um, I think it'll describe my experience in Italian class pretty well. So you're going to wander off, and I'm going to wander back to the Pokemon Center, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so that never happened here. Alright, so, we look more benches. Can I sit on these benches? Do I get to see anything interesting? No? Those benches are boring. What happens if I come up here? I can't climb up the slide. You should do that all the time as a kid, climb up the wrong way up the slides and then get yelled at, but... Anyway, <clears throat> you look, I, can, uh, I can't actually swing. That's disappointing. This playground is disappointing. I like the music here. This is this is like a really weird place. I don't know. I, I don't get what the deal with this is. Ooh, look at red candy. There is some uh, creepy pasta about this playground, but like creepy pasta is like really the worst than the ghost stories you hear in the campfires when you're like two years old. Anyway, this looks like a trainer. I want to battle you. Yeah, yeah. That battle was annoying. Uh, there were some burn hacks on a, one of those. Uh, Pokemon that are steel types and physical attackers and whatever they're called. That was annoying. This is annoying too. Probably want to get off the roller skates. Anyway, ah, uh, the slow mud. Although I don't mind the slow mud as. Ah, oh, come on. I don't mind this slow mud as much as I did in Sinnoh. Uh, I guess. I have to say, probably mostly because it looks a little better than the mud in Sinnoh. Uh, it actually looks kind of like mud, maybe? Uh, if I can avoid stepping in those deep places, it'll be really nice. Okay, so here, this is probably a good time to mention that if you're looking for this generation to shoot a legendary Pokemon, believe it or not, this is where I start. Gumi, uh, definitely a fan favorite. I wonder if I can uh, do anything. Let's use Draco Meteor. This thing's special defense is massive and it's seven levels above me. But Gumi evolves into a uh, Sligu, evolves into Gudra. And come on. Alright, that was actually pretty good. And if I could, um, you're gonna use Flail, but of all things. Uh, I live there. This is also an excuse for me to get a little bit more experience on Bagon and switch out to Hubble. Um, Gudra's just got massive special defense, it's got okay physical defense and okay uh, physical attack as well. Uh, it's a pretty good and competitive. It's a uh, pure dragon type, which isn't as good as it used to be with the paratype and all that fun stuff, although its defenses do let it hold out. Uh, let's see, where do I keep the Pokeballs anyway? Here's the Pokeball. Um, its evolution of it, its method of evolution is really quite weird. You have to, um, I believe, level it up in the rain uh, as a Sligu, and it'll become a Gudra. And that's really kind of random, um, but it's not as ridiculous as some things they've done in, say, the fourth generation games who evolve. But just thought I might point that out. <clears throat> All right, number nineteen, Gumi, soft tissue Pokemon. Yeah. By the way, this thing is a slug. I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed that they're giving dragon types out to rain and things like slugs. Like, the fairy type, they meant to nerf the dragons, and sure, whatever, nerf the dragons. But if you're going to do that, at least keep the dragons... I'm really going to throw in a repel. At least keep the dragons as something that looks worthy of being a dragon. Like, not a slug. Not a... really, not even a dragonfly. Just make it an actual dragon. Like, Charchomp is a dragon. It's a massive land shark. That's a super repel. Hydreigon is a dragon. It's a massive thing of doom. Haxorus is a dragon. Gumi is not a dragon. Dragalge is not a dragon. Drudagon is not a dragon. Like, Game Freak. Alright, that's my rant. 